Lady Aces, please join with the Lady Generals following the social distancing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Please remain standing for the WNBL prayer. Dear God, from whom every goodness, wisdom, and strength comes and begins, we are ever grateful as we owe before you all that we have and all that we are. Father, in our every sport and tournament, we ask you, keep us away from any danger, injury, accident, or untoward incident. Keep us safe and free from the infectious COVID-19, and keep us reminded to show true friendship and sportsmanship that in our actions and showcase of skills and talents, your name may be praised. In your kindness and inspiration, continue making us mature and grow into the best versions of ourselves, where in anything and everything we do, we do it for your greater glory. This we pray in your most holy name. Amen. Thank you very much. You may go back to your respective places. Ladies and gentlemen, Paranyake Lady Aces versus Tagig Lady Generals on the Pia Caetano WNBL 2021 season. Ang tunay na liga ng atletang Pilipina.
It's another good day for basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, welcome to the continuing action from the 2021 Pia Cayetano Women's National Basketball League, live and direct here from the Bren Z Giao Convention Center in San Fernando, Bambanga. Our game on hand today, it's going to be the Tagig Lady Generals against the undefeated league leading Paranaque Lady Aces. My name is Auntie Servino, and I'm going to bring you the action as it happens right here, right now, live and direct. But before anything else, let us discuss. Uh, the uh, competing teams that we have right now but as we can see in our uh, standings like what I said earlier the Paranaque Lady Aces are lording it over the roost with five wins and no losses and then uh, the Tagig Lady Generals are opponents for today they have three wins and two losses so again uh, the uh, Lady Generals they have to win in order to improve their chances of getting at least one of the two twice to beat advantage uh, slots in the uh, playoffs next month and uh, this is their last meeting of the uh, Lady Aces and the Lady Generals last September 26. Wow, look at this. Uh, what defense by the Lady Aces. 58 to 37. Only 37 points coughed out by the Lady Generals. Uh, the Lady Generals were limited to 22.6% field goal shooting. But look at the bench points. So 20 to 12, of course, a big factor in that game. No wonder that the MVP candidate, Aliana Lim. Of course, uh, in that game, Aliana Lim, no, he, she had... Her best personal effort of 23 points uh, in that game against the uh, Tagig Lady Generals. But in their last game, Aliana Lim with the same numbers against the Pacific Water Queens last weekend. 17 points, 14 rebounds. Just another double-double. Another in the office for Aliana Lim. That's, that's almost her, look at that. That's almost her season average of 16.8 points per game and 14 rebounds a game. Of course, you can see that Aliana Lim has really been working very hard to lift the team. Meanwhile, on the other hand, the uh, Lady Generals have uh, rode on the uh, shoulders of pint-sized Tin Kapilit. Of course, Kapilit has uh, really raised eyebrows. She has really you know, played bigger than her size. Look at the numbers of uh, Tin Kapilit on nine points against the Pacific Water Queens last weekend. And in their first meeting against the Lady Aces, Kapilit with uh, not so far, not eight points uh, to her name. Of course, uh, Kapilit, no? season average 11.8 points a game, which is which counts her among the uh, top 10 uh, leaders of the uh, entire WNBL. Okay, so before anything else, we turn over to our call team announcer for the starting lineups. A very exciting weekend and it's another game day here at the Brand Z Gao Convention Center. Let's start with the Pia Caetano WNBL 2021 season. Ang tunay na liga ng atletang Pilipina. It's a Paranaque Lady Aces versus Tagig Lady Generals. This is history for women's basketball. Here are the starting five first for Paranaque. Lady Aces! Starting at forward number seven, Chris Tolentino. One guard number eight, Jen Angeles. Also at guard number 15, Meridin Ting Kang. At forward number 17, Aliana Lim. Playing center number 21, Claire Castro. Paranaque Lady Aces is led by J.N. Cruz. Now the starting five for Tagig Lady Generals. Point guard number three, Lorraine Kapilit. Shooting guard number seven, Janet Season. Small forward number 11, Fiona Gonato. At the other forward number 33, Erika Hortaleza coming in at center number 19, Carla Manuel. Coaching the Lady Generals is today's celebrant, Mixon Ramos. Happy birthday! That. Yes, you heard. You know, you heard it right. Happy birthday, Coach Mixon Ramos. The man on your screen right now, and of course, the Tagig Lady Generals would uh, like to gift their coach with a victory today. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. You can see the uh, that uh, 
standard issue uh, starting lineups here for the Tagig Lady Generals. Meanwhile, uh, on the part of the uh, Palanaki Lady Aces, uh, they have activated Chris Tolentino for the game today, and she is part of the starting lineups. Of course, you see in there, of course, the uh, names of our uh, officials. And first possession is with the uh, Lady Generals. Of course, Kapilip will orchestrate, calls for a head play. They give it to uh, Manuel at the post. This is one uh, girl who can match up uh, with Claire Castro bulk-wise. But this earlier, the Paranaque Lady Aces are pressing. Forced to shoot a seesaw, an air ball. And a good defense there by Paranaque. They really uh, prevented the gig from getting a good look at the basket. So first position here for the Lady Aces. They are the team in green. First attempt is no good. And rebound colored by Palanaque to Lim at the post. Met by two defenders, but Lim defying the defense for the first two points of this game. And we will be saying Aliana, Aliana Lim's name a lot, that's for sure. Season met by the box and one defense of the Lady Aces, Fortaleza against Lim. Two generations of FEU Lady Tamaraus. Meanwhile, they move the ball around, looking for an opening. No good. It is cleared by Castro. First rebound by Claire Castro. Angeles to the corner. Again, Lim. Good post moves. Count the basket plus the foul for Aliana Lim. She has all the points of the Paranaque Lady Aces. And possibly even more with this uh, bonus coming. Here's what happens. Lim able to defy the post defense using her length to get the basket. So now bonus free throw coming for Aliana Lim. And it's good. So all the five points, it's now Aliana Lim five. The gig nothing. So early pressure defense again by the uh, Lady Aces. Forcing the Lady Generals to move the ball around, looking for an opening. Fortaleza to Manuel. Manuel, back to the basket, handoff. Castro defending the ball carrier. Manuel's open! No! And another authoritative rebound. Rebound number two for Claire Castro. Angeles will wait for Castro. Castro. To the corner, open. No, but Castro gets the miss. They battle for it. It's the limb underneath. Oh, easy two, seven, nothing. Opening run here for the Lady Aces, Tolentino. We said earlier, Tolentino activated for this game. She is taking the place of Blanche Bahuyan, who uh, I understand has a family emergency back home in her province. So uh, we wish uh, Blanche well. Hope uh, she's okay. Her family's okay. Meanwhile, Season breaking the ice finally for the Lady Generals. And Lim is met by three defenders. So that's how much they respect Aliana Lim. They throw three defenders on her. Kapilit will set it up. Well, again, the defense of Palanaque, their half-court defense is quick to set up. That's why uh, they are able to prevent the fast breaks of uh, the Lady Generals. Ball is loose, recovered by uh, Kapilit. And that is, a that is a shot clock violation. And uh, the birthday boy, Coach Mixon Ramos, does not like what, what happened. And like what I said earlier, of course, the Lady Generals would like to give their coach with a birthday gift today. All right, Angeles. To Tolentino. Back to Tolentino. Oh, what patient ball movement by the Lady Aces. Long rebound. And it's stolen by Gandalia, who's in the game now for the first time. Kapilik will wait for her teammates. Season to Hortaleza against Lim. Hortaleza to Capilla. He's blocked! She's blocked! What a crispy block there by Castro. Attacking! Yes! 
So Gika and Gandalia with four points now. Second basket by Gandalia and a steal by Gandalia. So Gandalia with an instant impact. She has replaced Carla Manuel. Gandalia will challenge the defense. She says no. She will wait for a teammate. Again, good defense by the Lady Aces, forcing the ball further away. Good anticipation by Lynn. It will stay with the white shirts. But 1.7 seconds left on the uh, shot clock. And we look at that crispy block. Public display projection by Claire Castro. Gonato, Fortaleza forced to fire, air ball. Again, they only had 1.7 seconds thanks to the good defense of the Lady Aces. Coach Pixel Ramos continuing to uh, fire up his uh, Lady Generals. It's only a three-point lead after that 7-0 start by Paranaque. Lim with another rebound, offensive rebound, and they give her the two points. So Aliana Lim has seven of the nine points of Paranaque. The other two courtesy of Chris Tolentino. Fortaleza, again against Lim. It's going to be a tough matchup for Fortaleza. Gandalia will use her foot speed, dumps it inside to uh, Kapilit, but another shot clock violation. Look at this offensive rebound by Aliana Lim and a putback. Good court presence there for Aliana Lim. That's why she's one of the leading candidates for most valuable player. To the corner. Castro asking for it, but they throw it away. Chased by Kapilit. Kapilit will use her speed. And two points for Kapilit. Lead is down to three again. Lorian in the game for the first time. To Castro, no defense! No defense for the game! And Alcoy with a good uh, read, spotting the open Castro. Back to five is the lead for Palanyaki, 11 to six. And we're past the halfway mark of the first quarter. Another air ball in the base, it's with Lorian. Lorian. Back to Gloriani for three. Too strong. And it will it'll sail out of bounds in favor of the Tagig Lady Generals. Again, they spot Castro. No defense. Defense was sleeping. Not napping. They were sleeping. Fake by Hortaleza. Using the screen. But met by Gloriani. Again, airtight defense and another block. Second block here for the uh, Aces. Lim is all alone for her 11 point. So this earlier, Aliana Lim in double figures with 11. Aliana Lim by her lonesome has outscored the entire Tagig Lady Generals. It's, it's Aliana 11, Tagig 6. Season. Again, very tight defense by Palanyake. Kapilit! No! Another rebound for uh, Aliana Lim. And Aliana is on course for a double-double. That's for sure. Doriani bounce pass to Lim. Lim will attack, protecting her the ball, but uh, the shot was too strong. Sison will wait for her teammates. All right. Gandalia at the high post. Try to draw Castro away from the low blocks. Kapilit still cannot put up a shot. Okay, Bacano is in the game. And turnaround is good for Sison. Sison, one of the few bright spots here for uh, the gig. Meanwhile, Bacano bringing up that play resulting in a turnover. So, uh, early uh, impact here for Malichu Bacano off the bench. Long bomb on the way, air ball. So Lim and Castro will get a much needed rest.
and Capito will also take a rest. So uh, fresh legs on the floor for uh, both teams. Mary Joy Galicia is in the game. Look at this, uh, Aliana Lim has nine points. Well, actually, uh, as, our, uh, of, as of our last count, I, we counted 11, but okay. But still, uh, Aliana has more points than the entire Tagig team. Alcoy now with the three-point shot, so it's nice to see that with Lim sitting down, the uh, rest of the team now is contributing. Not just on offense, but also on defense. And the defense continuing continue to be airtight for the Lady Aces, forcing a turnover. Look at this, uh, unselfish basketball. Gloriani with good court vision, unselfish play, spotting the open uh, Alcoy. Now what God? That's, that's the... Uh, and as you speak now, back-to-back -back three point shots for Alcoy. You know, that is a testament to the confidence of the the confidence that the Lady Aces have with each other. They trust their teammates and it produces dividends. Eleven point lead. Positos is blocked. Bacalo with the fake. Bacalo from 16 feet. Cleared by Batnag. And Batnag is fouled. And uh, that is only the first team foul of the uh, Lady Aces. Meanwhile, we saw the back-to-back uh, -back threes by Jamie Alcoy. We have a fast game. Uh, both teams have only one team foul to their uh, credit. Positos bounce pass to uh, Gandalia. Gandalia. Back to the basket. Sees the cutter. Bacalo. No good, and again, another, another shot clock violation. If for my count, that is already the third. Uh, that is the third shot clock violation of the uh, Lady Generals. Again, a testament to the tight defense of the Lady Aces. They ask for a clear out. Galicia, turn around. No good. Oh, Janina Solis. Solis has been playing well uh, as of late. Uh, she has uh, scored uh, personal highs in their last two games. Janina Solis not out of the Central Scholar University Lady Scorpions. Gandalia handoff. Bacalo in traffic. Bacalo forcing it. Gandalia to Batnab. Down to three seconds. They have to shoot. No good. Rebound controlled by the uh, green shirts of Palanaque. All is on Positos. First personal foul for Josie, and that's the second the team foul for the late generals. Meanwhile, we have a timeout called. All right, so uh, we'll be back for more of the Pia Cayetano WNBL after this commercial break. Stay with us, please. Hello, John. Good. numbers from their last game like what I said the uh, defense of uh, the Lady Aces manifesting itself limiting the Lady Generals to only 37 points and 22.6 percent uh, field goal shooting and the second chance points and the bench points really in favor of the Lady Aces of course at on your screens coach JN Santos matching wits against the birthday boy coach Mixon Ramos I will not tell you how old coach Ramos is but I remember him from his days as a player with the Fiatti Seahawks. And of course, he was one of the original players of the uh, Tagig uh, team uh, in the previous leagues that they joined long before the, w the uh, NBL was uh, conceived in 2018, uh, as early as uh, 2006. We've been seeing Coach Ramos play, so that gives you an idea of how old he is. <laughs> Meanwhile, another turnover forced by the uh, 
Lady Aces. 21 to 8 is our score. This time it's the turn of the uh, generals, the Lady Gens, to play pressure defense. And the foul is called at the half court. If you look at it. As uh, Ventura gets a double black eye, she has assessed the foul at the same time. She gets it on the face. But of course, you know Ventura is one tough customer. She'll just brush it off. All right, inbound now for Palanaque. Back to the inbounder, Gloriani. Gloriani lobs a pass inside. Well read by the defense. Ball will stay with the Lady Aces. So this time, Gloriani will uh, perform the baseline inbound. Of course, Gloriani from the De La Salle University Lady Archers. Ah, oh, good pass. Everything but the shot. And that's the end of the first period on our score reads 21 to 8 it's an imposing 13 point lead for the Palanyaki Lady Aces of course big factor Aliana Lim believe it or not has more points by herself than the entire uh, com the entire Tagig team combined of course uh, after that the bench mob of uh, Palanyaki doing their share to uh, maintain the lead in fact not just maintain but increase it and that's your score we'll be back with the second quarter stay with us for more of the Pia Cantano WNBL Right now, Claire Castro, the uh, strength underneath of Palanyake. There you see Castro asserting her dominance underneath. Of course, she is the tallest player in the WNBL at six foot four. Member for national team Gilas Filipinas women. Fresh, of course, from a stint at the uh, 2021 FIBA Asia Women's Asian Cup in Jordan. Where of course the Philippines were they were able to maintain their status in Division One or uh, Division A in FIBA Asia Women. We are underway with the second uh, quarter. Glad you could join us, Philippines. My name is Anthony Servino, live and direct here from the Brenzi Gyal Convention Center in San Fernando, Pampanga. First possession is with the leading Lady Aces, and they throw the ball away. As we were talking about Claire Castro, of course, Claire Castro, like what I said, she uh, went to Jordan with the national team, but, and she missed a lot of games, but uh, once she returned, look at those numbers, at 12 points and 6 rebounds in, believe it or not, uh, only 13 minutes of action, so that is super efficient. Numbers uh, for Claire Castro, well, I guess Coach uh, JN limiting the numbers of Claire since, uh, you know, she just got back from her uh, long trip, her grueling uh, stint with the national team, so... Uh, Oh, a steal by Malichu Bakala, but she's blocked! And she's... She misses on her attempt. And out of frustration, the Lady Generals give up a foul. Take a look at it again. Malichu blocked from behind. A public display of rejection. She gets the ball back, but... She, could st she still is unsuccessful. Alright, Positos hounding the ball carrier. They cross the timeline, Palanyake. Hand off to Gloriani. Gloriani slicing the middle. Yes. Of course, after uh, Aliana Lim and uh, Claire Castro, it is Gloriani and Angeles who are the uh, next uh, leading uh, scorers for uh, the Lady Aces. Wiz Duazo is in the game for the first time. She did not play in that first quarter. Bacala to Positos. Positos back to the basket. Points in the paint, 16 to 8 in favor of Palanyake. Well, when you have Claire Castro and Aliana Lim working inside, I am not surprised with those numbers. Reyes, Carmina Reyes, another new addition for uh, Coach uh, Santos. Well read by the defense, forcing a turnover. So now Tagig will uh, do the half court set, will execute their favorite head play. Duazo popping out. 
met by the defense. Oh! Defense got napping there. A rare time that you will see Palanyaki's defense asleep. Palanyaki. They are quick to uh, go down in transition. Try to make up for that boo boo. Uh, points of turnovers at Palanyaki. Nine against two. You know, these are the numbers that coaches say if you dominate these numbers, you will most likely win the game. You know, we're talking here about points of turnovers, offensive rebounds, second chance points. These are the hustle stats. And speaking of stats, let's run some numbers of the uh, first quarter. The shooting clip of Palanyaki, wow, 50%. That's 9 out of 18 compared to 4 out of 15, 26.7% for the Lady Generals. Uh, that, see, that's, that's what I mean. Now look at that, 50% versus 26.7% uh, for the Lady Generals. Of course, uh, uh, rebounds 8 to 11 plus 3 for Palanyake. More teamwork. This is a big number. 7 assists against only 3. Leading scorers for the uh, Lady Aces. Aldana Lim with 9. Outscoring the entire opposition. Uh, for the part of the uh, Lady Generals, they are led in the first quarter by uh, Janet Season. So at the line right now, take a good look at. Uh, Regina Tanya de la Merced, uh, first uh, stint. She did not play in that first quarter. So you see Coach Santos, uh, really, uh, I mean, Coach Cruz, rather. Coach Jay and Cruz, sorry about that. Coach Jay and Cruz making the most of his uh, players, giving them uh, exposure. Positos is fouled. You know, in that first quarter, that first quarter was very fast because... Uh, both teams uh, did not fall that much. In fact, uh, they did not reach the penalty. So a shooting foul here. Two free throws for Josie Positos. First one is good for Josie. You know, we notice that uh, Josie, she plays, she is a, uh, she usually comes in for as a substitute for the Lady Generals, but she gets more minutes uh, than the uh, starter. Of course, uh, Coach Ramos opting to play uh, Positos more as the game progresses. 23 11 is our score. And another steal by Duazo, but a uh, good defense by Stephanie Ventura. So we have a Ventura on uh, both teams. So one each, one Ventura each for both teams. There's Stephanie for Palanyake and uh, Lorraine for the Lady Generals. Season will return uh, to replace Positos. Six seconds to shoot for the uh, Lady Generals. Baseline inbound. They have they're having trouble. Season firing. No ball tap. Won by the uh, white shirts and Felicita with the put back. So Coach uh, Cruz has sensed the uh, trouble. He has called a timeout and uh, we'll be back after this commercial break for more of the Pia Cayetano WNBL. Of course, uh, aside from Team Kapilit, no, one of the bright spots for uh, the Lady Generals this season is uh, Janet Season. Yeah, bright spot of the season, Janet Season. <laughs> In that last game against Pacific Water Queen, 7 points, 8 rebounds for uh, Janet. Uh, season average, 9 points. She is the second leading scorer of the team after Team Kapilit. Oh, turnover by Palanyake. Mental lapse. On the part of the uh, Lady Aces after that timeout, uh, Coach Jay and Cruz does not like that. Nothing came out of that timeout. All right, jumper on the way, air ball, and it's won by the Lady Aces. Lim quickly, De La Merced back to Lim. Lim against four defenders. Someone's open. It's Siat, and now they will do the uh, half court set. Using the high screen, 
three on the way for Gloriani. No. Lim hustling for it. And it will go the way of the Lady Generals. Claire Castro is back. Look at this, look at this hustle. Huh? So you can see that Aliana Lim is not only scoring, not only rebounding, but look at the hustle. Again, these, these are the things that you do not see on the stat sheets. Uh, as we talk about three, but uh, like, at the end, the gap has increased 17 to 10 after the first quarter. It was plus three for uh, Palanyaka, now it's plus seven. Meanwhile, the uh, ladies' generals are slowly creeping back into contention and they dump it inside to Castro. And uh, in, in situations like that, look at this uh, they find Duazo and Duazo, they did not challenge Duazo. So Duazo says, I might as well take it. You admire the confidence of Chris Duazo, especially when you've been uh, watching her play uh, ever since she was in college at Rizal Technological University under coach uh, Roy Bagales. Ventura, jumper from the corner, no good. Cleared by Season. So Season filling up the stat sheet, crossing the timeline. Box and one defense has been the favorite of Coach uh, JN Cruz for the Lady Aces. And we have we have a whistle holding foul on Okay, here it is again. Oh yes, it was uh, on the screen. So Delamar said with the foul. Chan is in the game, another uh, new player for Coach Mixon Ramos, the birthday boy. At 15 feet, yes, Season. So Season is now carrying the fight for the Lady Generals. As uh, we notice that Tim Capilita has struggled uh, amidst the uh, tight defense of Palanyake. Inside! And they are forced to foul. Foul is on uh, number 18, Lorraine Ventura. So at the line, number 15, Mar Martin Tinkang for Palanyake. First one is no good. First Tinkang from the University of Santo Tomas. While Jamie Alcoy, she hit two free throws. I mean, she, she hit two three-pointers in the uh, first quarter. She will replace Stephanie Ventura. Team Kapilit is back, so hopefully that rest will uh, allow Kapilit to uh, get her game going. They need Kapilit to get her game going if they are to overhaul this uh, six-point deficit staring their faces. We'll talk about the game. Season. Again, box and one employed by Palanyake. Duazo against Liv. This is a good matchup, huh? They're having trouble uh, hoisting a shot, the gig. Duazo. She will move closer, spinning, and she forces the shot. As the shot clock was winding down, and Lim will give it to a point guard. It's with Angeles. Angeles against the much bigger season. Inside to Castro. No, Castro still. Castro, third serving. Yes. So two offensive rebounds and two points in that sequence for Claire Castro. Head play, but called by Chan. Again, Duazo. They'll try to do it again. Pelisarta. Yes! So four points now for Sophie Pelisarta. Lead us down to six. 25-19. Believe it or not, Palanyaka scored only four points in the second quarter. Against the, against the 11 of Tegig. Felisarta, deep concentration, and uh, Castro deciding not to challenge. So on the other, on the other end of Castro and saying, just give it to me. Two offensive rebounds and two points for Castro in this sequence. All right, Angeles will do the inbound. Stack formation. Alcoy pops out, but they give it to Castro. Castro just raises her hand. So she, she, she rare, her feet rarely leaves the ground. 
All right, this might, they say, and they call a timeout. So season, and the Lady Generals will uh, super time. That's our score, 25-19. And we'll be back for more of the PNK title, WNBL. Stay with us, please. We're talking about Aliana Lim and Claire Castro. Now, let's talk about Jen Angeles. Now, Jen Angeles, uh, good numbers, uh, eight points, eight assists. Of course, you know, Aliana and Claire will not score if Jen will not pass them the ball. See, that's Jen Angeles from the University of Santo Tomas, another uh, alumni of the Growling Tigresses. Of course, that great program has produced so many names uh, through the years, including their current coach. Coach Heidi Ong. Kapilit also from USD. Does not convert on the uh, runner. And rebound by another lady, uh, another growling tigress, Martin Tinkang. So they're all over the floor. You know, the uh, former the, uh, alumni of USD. They're all over the WNP. Not just on the two pieces, but also on the other uh, three teams. Talking about Glutagen's Pacific Water and uh, Sulung Stan, uh, Lady Spartan. At the line, Mardin Tingkang. Uh, she was one of the uh, direct hires of the Lady Aces. She did not pass through the rookie draft last February. She was one of the direct hires along with Claire Castro and Aliana Lim. And also Carmina... Carmina Reyes and Chris Tolentino. So finally, some movement on the scoreboard for Paranaque, but Capilit is blocked again by Castro. They keep it alive, though. Shot clock down to 10. This one continuing to shine for the Lady Generals. It is down to five. I believe this is the closest that the gig has uh, been in a long, long time. Castro against Hortaleza. Two former Lady Tamaraos of FEU. But uh, Castro asserting her dominance. I guess uh, Hortaleza and Castro, they must have guarded each other a lot uh, during practice. When they were still in uh, college, Fortaleza against Lim. Well, they did not uh, play at FU at the same time, but they are uh, both cut from the same mold. The FEU basketball factory. Fortaleza jumper, yes! <laughs> well, that should change the uh, mindset of uh, Lim. Maybe Lim will uh, defend her more next time. As we uh, enter the two-minute warning for the first uh, half. And suddenly we have a ball game. Alcoy. Not this time. Uh, she does not add to her two triples from the first quarter. Uh, we thought Palanaque would blow this game out after taking that first uh, period 21-8. to But uh, the gig has uh, come uh, marching back. Fortaleza to Felizarta. Felizarta. Sophie with six points in the game right now. And you know where she's from? She's from USD. Inside to Castro, too strong by Angeles. Look at this, Felisarta. I think they need to put a body on Sophie. Sophie has, they, they, they have been giving her the open look and Sophie has made them pay with three clean jumpers. So Sophie with six points to her name. She 
she has, you can say she has fueled the rally. A slow but sure rally of Dagay. And we have a jump ball between, uh, it will be between, uh, let's see, Loriani and Hortaleza. Of course, Hortaleza with the marked height advantage. Referee Buenaventura will toss it. And it's won by uh, Tagig. And quickly, they uh, force the turnover. Angeles to the streaking limb. And Diana <laughs> Lim has uh, recovered her shooting touch. Take it that again. Great court vision, great hands by Aliana Lim. Now she had one eye on the ball, one eye on the rim, and three point play completed by Aliana Lim. So lead of uh, Paranaque is back to six. 31 25. Hortaleza, hand off to Kapilit. Felisarta, they are now defending Felisarta closer. So Felisarta assists Hortaleza, changing her shot in mid air. Oh boy, she gets the foul. And Castro can only shake her head in disbelief. Oh, only the first foul for Claire Castro. At the line, Erika Hortaleza. Hortaleza is one of the uh, late additions uh, of the Tagig Lady General. So she's one of the late uh, signees. She was not part of the original lineup. She was signed uh, just before the opening. Marichu Bakar is back. Of course, uh, there were injuries you know, that beset the Lady Generals before the uh, WNBL could begin. Uh, Two players of theirs, uh, Monique Del Carmen and Gemma Miranda, uh, went down with injuries. That's why they were down to 13 players. Meanwhile, Angel Les, too strong. Back to Gloriani. No look to Alcoy. Castro met by the triple team. And it's cleared by uh, Bacaro. Bacaro looks at the clock. It says 20 seconds. So no more shot clock. Down to 16 seconds in the first half. Good defense. Bacano down to 10. She's on. Oh, using the glass. Three points by Season. 31 29. And a steal by Bacano at the buzzer. And what a rally here by Tagig in the second quarter. They are just behind by two points. Let's see some highlights. Felisarta was one of the uh, key factors in the comeback of the Lady Generals, but uh, Castro inside. Her presence has uh, kept Palanaque afloat. And again, uh, Season, the bright spot uh, for uh, the Lady Generals. Lim, though, has uh, you know, kept the uh, aces in the game. That's why. The lead is just two points, 31-29. We'll be back to break down the uh, first half after this commercial break. Stay with us. You are watching the Pia Cayetano WNBL. Stay there, please.
our score at halftime, 31-29. A two-point lead for the Palanyak Lady Aces. Of course, you, if uh, you missed the uh, first half, the Lady Aces now threatening to blow away the Lady Generals with the uh, first uh, quarter score, 21-8. But of course, the Lady Generals making a strong comeback in the uh, second quarter. Now, why did that happen? But first, let's go back to that first quarter. I said, Palanyake threatening to blow the game uh, wide open early. Of course, Aliana Lim, believe it or not, uh, Aliana Lim had more points by herself than the entire uh, Tagig team, 9-8. to eight. Of course, uh, Alcoy with the back-to-back -back threes and a good spin inside. So that this, this was after, uh, this is when, when Lim no, sat down. So again, the score 21 to 8. But, you know, Season, Janet Season with 11 points in the first half, she fueled the rally together with Sophie Felisarta in that second uh, quarter. That's why uh, the lead is down to two. Well, a big factor of, uh, of that was the improved field goal shooting of Tagig. They are now shooting 13 out of 34 or 32.8%. Meanwhile, the shooting clip, the hot shooting clip of Palanyake went down in that uh, second quarter. From 50%, they are just shooting only 44.8% now. Well, of course, the numbers, uh, the other numbers have remained the same. Points in the paint uh, and points of turnovers. It's because uh, when you have the likes of, I, I said earlier, when you have the likes of Aliana Lim and Claire Castro patrolling the paint, you will not be surprised. Of course, the leading scorers, Lim with 12 Season with 11, the only two players with in double figures. Of course, you see Alcoy, back-to-back -back threes. Castro, six points, all inside. And then the uh, new, uh, newly activated Chris Tolentino leading the way for Palanyak. Of course, uh, on the part of the uh, Lady Aces, aside from, uh, aside from uh, Season, they also see contributions from Felisarta with six. Now, all clean jumpers. She had six uh, uncontested jumpers, so they decided to put a body on her after her third basket. All right, first possession for Palanyake. Let's see. We have a ball game. All right, Manuel with her first rebound of the second half. Manuel started the game, and uh, she uh, sat down. More playing time was given to the likes of uh, Kika, Kika Gandalia. Of course, uh, checking the uh, numbers of uh, Carla Manuel, no points, but uh, okay, fast break by Reyes is no good, and a rebound controlled by Tagig. So no score yet. We played almost a minute here in the uh, second period. Glad you can join us, Philippines. My name is Atu Servino, live and direct here from the Brenzi Giao Convention Center in San Fernando, Pampanga. In the election of the uh, Pia Cayetano 2021 Women's National Basketball League here at the Brent Z. Kiao Convention Center. And believe it or not, that is the uh, fourth, by my count, that is the fourth shot clock violation of the gig and the first in the uh, second half. Again, testament to the uh, tight defense. Palanyake and Gloriani with a glorious drive and the layup. So first points in the second half by either side, courtesy of uh, AJ Gloriani. And Palanyake playing hustling defense. Look at this, look at this glorious, I say a glorious layup by Gloriani. All right, sideline inbound by Season. Fortaleza pops out to receive from the stack formation. Capilit. Against Reyes, Reyes with the tap. The ball stays with uh, Tagig, and we have a foul by Reyes. Well, Capilli only had two points uh, in that uh, first half. They need their offense now more than ever. Fortaleza, high post. Season. Shot clock is down to three. Does she know it? She fires. Short. And the fifth. And it's the fifth shot clock violation. And then, of course, if you're watching this game live on uh, the internet or Facebook or whatever, you can catch this game on a delayed basis 
uh, on November 1, 2021, that's this Monday, on Solar Sports, starting at 8 o'clock in the evening. Again, you can watch this this Monday, November 1, on Solar Sports. So, uh, hope to uh, see you there. Hope you enjoy watching it uh, on Monday. They dump it inside, Hortaleza, but the defense is quick to uh, establish themselves. Hustle, shot clock, that seven is blocked. And a steal completed by Gloriani, and a frustration foul given up by Tagig. All right, here's look at this again. Good offensive rebound and put back by Tagig. Meanwhile, three new players will check in for uh, Coach Mixon Ramos and the Lady Generals. Jumper on the way, no. Duazo. Hanging onto the ball, but she loses it. Siat, cross court. And a foul given up by Season. Whoa! Big development here. Four personal fouls already for Season. So this is going to be decision time here for Coach Ramos. Now will, will he sit down uh, Season or uh, Gamble? and keep her on the floor. Ventura backtracks after seeing the defense of Reyes. All right, bounce pass to Gandali at the high post. Gandali looking for a friend. Hand off. She saw no. Battle for it. And it's going to be a loose ball foul on. Referee Benaventura says, all right, here's that last sequence. Oh, we saw... We saw Duazo hit a green shirt on the nape. And that should hurt. And a steal by Chan to Ventura. To Cecil, back to Ventura. Six-point lead for Palanyake. Back to the basket, handoff, Chan. Good defense, ball is loose. Ventura has it, referee says play on. But, again, another, and I say another, shot clock violation for uh, the Lady Generals. Doriani, no look, intercepted. It's with Gandalia. Season is fouled from behind by Reyes. Second foul on Carmina Reyes. Why did you Bacala will return? She will replace uh, Janet Season. Of course, we want like what we said, but Season with four fouls. And we expect her uh, to sit quite extensively on the bench as Coach Ramos will preserve her for the uh, crucial stretch later on. Gandalia facing the basket. Bacano, short, cleared by Palanyake. And a foul, another foul on the uh, Lady Generals. Now in that first half, huh? but before that, look at the foul. Yes, uh, Gandalia. Well, she had no choice but to give the foul to stop the uh, fast break. Or she was asking for a traveling violation. She will not get that. Referees will not listen to her. Aliana Lim is back in the contest. That is bad news for the Lady Generals. Pressure at the backcourt. They cross the line. Oh, back in by... No, it's going to be a push on Duazo. Lucky break there for Aliana Lim as she lost her uh, balance at the uh, midcourt line. Take a look at it again. Lim receives. She is just at the cusp of the uh, half court. So inbound here by Gloriani. Looking for a teammate. She's having trouble. Gets it in in time and now it's back with Gloriani. Siat with the high screen for Gloriani. Gloriani attacking. No. Tagig on the attack. 
Ventura will wait for her teammates. The will do the half court set. Candalia popping out. Duazo, high blocks. Ventura against the smaller Reyes. Bacalo. Oh, good recognition by Bacalo to spot. Gilfred Duazo underneath for the easy two. They need more of that. It is down to four. Doriani, what will she do? We are at the halfway point of the third. Glad you can join us, Philippines. This is the Pia Catalan WNBL. Tagig in white versus Palanyak in green. The undefeated league leading numero uno Lady Aces at 5 0 against the 3 2 Lady Generals. Ventura against a smaller Gloriani. She's having a hard time, so she gives it to uh, Ventura. Bacaro. Runner. Oh! Chan with a hurried shot, but they will keep it. Good hustle there by Duazo to keep it in their possession. Tagig. Gandalia. Good defensive stance here by uh, Galicia. Runner. Yes! Ventura! It is now to two. Oh, just like halftime. Pressure defense already by Tagig. Lim will bring it down. Point forward. Lim will challenge Duazo. Gets her own miss. Yes! She simply erased the challenge of Wiz Duazo. Chan. Using the screen, Chan met by the double. Ventura open, bounce pass to the cutting, Candalia. Yes, good movement without the ball by Gandalia, resulting in two points to her account. Oh no, look by Gloriani to Reyes, but Reyes is hacked underneath. Take a look at it again, of course, this is the uh, move. MVP like move for uh, Aliana Lim and then a uh, beautiful pass to the cutting Gandalia. And remember, guys, all games are live by the Sea Games Network, NBL Facebook page, and the official NBL Filipinas YouTube channel. And while you're at it, please like and follow the social media of the NBL, of course, NBL Filipinas on Facebook, and uh, please subscribe to the NBL YouTube channel. Hope to see you there. Of course, when you do that, you can uh, access pictures, statistics, uh, game results, and even uh, videos of all the games on the NBL and the, the WNBL. All right, we have some issue here with the uh, committee, our technic uh, with our uh, scorers, uh, scores table. Uh, we have a, a buzzer. Referees are just conferring with our table officials. As uh, Chris Tolentino is about to check in. Of course, uh, to, uh, to those who missed the earlier announcement, not playing today for uh, Paranyak is their backup center, Blanche Bahuyan. And uh, Bahuyan had to uh, go home to attend to a, a family emergency. So again, we wish her well. Hope that uh, she's okay and also her family's okay. Meanwhile, Castro is okay. With that uh, put back and two more points to her name. You know, they really need to put a body and just you know deny Claire Castro her uh, sweet spot, her comfort zone. But then again, not the whole shit that made this the sweet spot of Claire Castro as you see in this sequence. Here's the miss. You now Duazo simply could not box out Claire Castro you know, with Claire Castro's uh, her bulk, her length, her height, her everything. They even add her experience as a national team player. You, know, you should you should see those uh, FIBA Asia uh, Women's Asian Cup games. Suddenly, you know, if Claire, Claire Castro is big here, she suddenly looks small when she uh, faced those six foot seven uh, giants from China and the other countries. Meanwhile, open shot, no good, tracked down by Lim, and and Lim says, "All right, we'll set it up." Fresh 14 seconds for Palanyake. Inside to Castro, too strong. 
and Duazo doing a good job this time of tapping the ball away from uh, Castro. I guess uh, she, she should do more of that. Duazo will use her foot speed against uh, Castro, but you know, just the fact that Claire is raising her hands in mid-air you know, causes a lot of shots to be changed at the last second. Jumper on the way, yes! Ting Kang with a three-pointer of her own. Lead of Palanyaki up to seven again. No defense, but they miss. And Tolentino with the rebound. Angeles says, I need a clear out. They give it to Castro, back to Angeles, to Tolentino. Inside Castro! Oh, Castro! She is simply money underneath. So Coach Mixon Ramos will call a timeout, but before that, look at Claire Castro. Again, good positioning without the ball, and we'll be back for more of the Pia Cayetano WNBL after this commercial break. Stay with us, please. Huddle there, Coach Jay and Cruz and the Lady Aces. Of course, speak of the Lady Aces. Look at their last game a 76 35 win over the Pacific Water Queens uh, last October 23. I mean, that is just a testament to the uh, league leading offense as well as the league leading defense of Palanyake. So, we are not surprised that uh, Coach uh, Cruz has steered the team to a perfect 5 0 start. Of course, uh, you know, before coaching the Palanyake Lady Aces, Coach uh, Jay and Cruz. Uh, he was uh, he was one of the coaches of the uh, San Beda College Alabang uh, program. All right, so the uh, generals uh, hurry back to uh, the live court, and we are underway with the final 93 seconds of the third quarter. Kapilit met by the defense. Bacaro, referee says play on because Bacaro, bobbling, she still has it. She gives it to Felisarta, Felisarta this time, and Felisarta is fouled just as the uh, shot clock buzzer sounds. So a lucky break there for uh, the Lady Generals. That is the second foul on Castro. So I guess they might as well challenge the defense of Claire Castro to get her into foul trouble and force uh, Coach Cruz to pull her out. But of course, that's easier said than done. As you see, the uh, Lady Generals continuing to egg on their teammates on the floor. Felisarta now for her second free throw. Good. So seven point lead for Palanyake. Okay, Palanyake will bring it down. Lim will uh, hand it off. And they steal. Ball will stay with Palanyake. Now, I want to take a good look at how Castro moves without the ball. You know, her positioning, no, she does not wait for the ball to go to her. No, she makes sure that she's open for her teammates to pass her the ball. See, look at this. Look at her battling inside for position. And it also buzzes out. And Lim is free as uh, Castro is able to clog the, the uh, area under the goal so it opens up space for Lim for this offensive rebound and put back. So again, Aliana Lim simply asserting her class here in the uh, 2021 Pia Cayetano WNBL. Ball is batted out. It will go the way of the gig with 50 seconds left in the third. Inbound by Season. It's with Bacaro. Bubbles a bit. She recovers. She crosses the timeline. And she will uh, reset. She will do the half court set. Looking for a teammate. It's with Kapilit. They have done a good job at limiting Tin Kapilit to making her a non factor in this game. Felisarta 
is tripped. And yes, it is. Okay, it's on uh, Tolentino. So uh, they can heave a sigh of relief. Now, we thought it was against uh, Claire Castro. It was on number seven, Chris Tolentino. Of course, uh, Palanyak is not yet in the penalty, so it will mean a, only an inbound for uh, the gig. Season will do the honors. All right, but none pops out to Kapilit. Kapilit short, and it's won by Lim. Lim sees the the oh, oh! Galicia could not. Uh, Oh, Ting Kang rather could not apply the brakes. Ting Kang losing the ball. See, here's what happened. She could not apply the brakes in time and she runs out of space. So, timeout called by Palanyake. We'll be back. Stay with us, please. Screens at the gig lady generals coach Mixon Ramos. Uh, when you talk about defense, this time the lady generals, aside from Palanyak, of course, the elders on the floor right now are the two best defensive teams in the WNBL. And look at the lady generals, they they limited the Pacific Water Queens. That, that's an NBL, that's a WNBL record for lowest points in the game 34. Baseline inbound. For Palanyake, Lim pops out, jumper, no good, cleared by Season. Kapilit, bobbling, met by the much taller Lim, she, and Lim with the steal, desperation shot, and that's the end of the uh, third quarter. And uh, look at some highlights here of Claire Castro, Claire Castro simply Unstoppable underneath 10 points, 8 rebounds, 2 more rebounds for a double double for Claire Castro. Wow, simply asserting herself underneath. And that is why our score stands at 46 to 37, a 9 point lead for the Palanyaki Aces. Stay with us for the fourth and deciding quarter, and we'll be, we'll be back right after this commercial break. Stay with us for more of the 2021 Pia Cantano WNBL. screens right now of course these are mobile phones of course <laughs> but uh, why are why are we uh, taking pictures of these mobile phones it's because you know before the game you know both teams have to submit their mobile phones to the uh, WNBL officials for safekeeping of course this is part of the measures instituted by your WNBL to ensure that all games are played with full honesty and integrity and you will uh, have the best professional women's basketball that only the WNBL can offer all right, look at the uh, scoring by periods. The uh, Lady uh, Generals are making a strong comeback in the second quarter, but again, the uh, Lady Aces have, uh, you can say, recovered uh, a bit in this, in the uh, just concluded third quarter. So it's a nine point lead for Palanyake. Well, of course, uh, we still have a lot of time. If you're a fan of Tagig, no, don't worry. Still a lot of time left for your Lady Generals to come back and uh, you know reverse the outcome meanwhile ball will go the way of Paranaque Lim will attack Lim scoop shot yes and you can see in that last sequence there were three defenders surrounding the space of Aliana Lim 
And not even three can stop Aliana Lim. Duazo against Castro. It's with Kapilit. They whip it to uh, Fortaleza. Fortaleza setting the screen for Ventura. And Ventura is fouled from behind by Lim. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that is only the first, yes, that is only the first personal foul in this ball game for Aliana Lim. Kang and Tolentino will sit down. Uh, in their place will be uh, Mary Joy Galicia and uh, Gloriani. Fortaleza met by Lim. Del Carmen in the game. Monique Del Carmen. Of course, we mentioned the Monique Del Carmen earlier in the telecast. Uh, Del Carmen was uh, one player that they really missed uh, in their uh, early games. Uh, it is only now that Del Carmen is uh, slowly recovering from that uh, injury that uh, kept her uh, out of commission uh, during the uh, first games of uh, Tagig in this uh, tournament. You know, speaking of injuries also, uh, Tagig is also waiting for Gemma Miranda to recover from her injury so uh, they can activate her. Of course, you know Gemma Miranda, a former member of the Gilas Filipinas national team. Ten-point lead for Palanaque. Castro met by the double team, but uh, all they do is they, they give the ball to Claire Castro. Her back to the basket, she throws it around and pops in the easy two points. That has been a common refrain in the uh, three games that Claire has played so far. Of course, uh, Claire missing uh, several of the... Uh, Middle games of Palanaque because of her national team duties. Del Carmen. Held by the defense and she forces it. Just as the shot clock rings. And Lim is hacked from behind. Well, you can say that was a good foul. But it's only the first team foul of the game. It prevented the uh, layup or sure two points by Lim so now she will earn her points the hard way by uh, the uh, free throw step but then again uh, nothing is hard now Aliana has shown uh, in this tournament that nothing is hard for her she has shown that uh, basketball is easy Castro will sit down Ventula will replace her Stephanie Ventula of course there is Lorraine Ventula on the uh, lady general side Kapilit. You know, Kapilit has only two points. She, she did not score in the third quarter. And they really miss her offense. Duazo against Ventura. This is a good matchup dating back to their college days. Uh, RTU versus CEU. Season. Season. Again, the only bright spot for the Lady Generals today alongside uh, Sophie Felisarta and Season after that basket the Season with uh, 13 points Loriani punctures the hole for 3 points 14 is the lead for Palanaque Del Carmen she's a former UAP finals MVP out of National University in fact, she is the last. She is actually the last in uh, UAP Finals MVP after the last completed UAP Championship of the uh, Lady Bulldogs in uh, 2019. Take a look at it again. Duazo against Ventura. But Season is there to clean up the mess. And you can see that Janet Season is really stuffing the stats. Meanwhile, in response, Doriani with a three-point shot of 13-14. Ventura. Well, let's see later on if the two Venturas will be guarding each other, but uh, I don't know because they play different positions. Maybe on the help defense. Fortaleza bounces off the rim and 
Liv with the authoritative rebound. She says, mine. Galicia, thinking about it. They will uh, reset. They dump it inside to Liv. Oh, but body control by Aliana Liv. <laughs> great, uh, you know, that's a, that's a sign of great flexibility to make those two points possible for Aliana Lim. Gandalia, back to the basket, hand off to Fortaleza. Fortaleza against two defenders. Fortaleza forcing the issue and ball will stay with the gig. Lucky break there. See, Gloriani, again, look at the body control of Aliana Lim. Hurried shot is short. Rebound, and it will go the way of the gig. Last touch on the green shirt. Last touch on uh, number nine, Mary Joy Galicia. Baseline inbound with 14 on the shot clock for the gig. Season to Ventura. Gandalia, hounded by Angeles. Gandalia, running shot, yes. <laughs> Fifty-six forty-two. Fourteen-point lead still for Palanyake. Lim, no look. Ventura and Ventura with the two points. And uh, no change in emotion for Stephanie. She is all business today. That's a, that, that's a good attitude that you want to see from your players. Ventura Lorraine. And a running shot. And referee says... It will count. So Kikai Gandalia beating the shot clock and she will get a bonus free throw. A Ventura... Well, is Gandalia attacking, challenging the defense of Aliana Lim, hoping to get a foul. Yes, she is successful. And yes, that will mean a bonus for uh, Kikai Gandalia. And this game, if you're watching it live on the internet, will be shown on Solar Sports this Monday, November 1, starting at 8 o'clock in the evening. That's right, it's on Solar Sports. And all games are live. Well, all WNBL games are live on the Sea Games Network the uh, Facebook page of NBL Filipinas as well as the YouTube channel of NBL, NBL Filipinas. In fact, if, uh, you have, uh, if you want, you can review this game later on. If you missed something, Ventura bobbling and Ventura is hacked. At the line, Stephanie Ventura. She is from Pangasinan, played college ball at Centro Scolar University, the Lady Scorpions. First basket is good. Chan will replace Fortaleza. Second free throw on the way for Ventura. She has three points in the game. Let's see. It stays at three, but offensive rebound. Won by uh, Palanyake. Doriani using the high screen. Met by Gandalia. Good defense by Tagig to keep the ball far away and they force the shot clock violation. You know, Lim complaining that you know, she was grabbed on the arm, but the referees did not see that. Ventura says head, which has been a popular choice of play for uh, the Lady Gens. High screen, Gandalia running shot, weak. It's with Lim. Lim, out, off to the races. Lim will sky. Oh, she's ball battled away from behind by Lorraine Ventura. Take a look at it again. Of course, Lim running like a thoroughbred. And she is uh, denied. Clean uh, swipe there. Look at Lim hustling for it. You can see the expression on her face. She really wants to get that ball. 
Ventura back to the basket. She attacks. She wanted a foul. She will not get it, but Lim has it. Alcoy! No. Lorraine Ventura will wait for her teammates. Candalia against Stephanie Ventura. Chan. Jumper. Too strong. Rebound falls in the waiting hands of Galicia. Lim. Two on one. She will take it herself. Of course, unselfish play by Gloriani. And that's a sign of good team dynamics. Attacking Gandalia, no. It's with Galicia. Alcoy will uh, give it to Lim. Goriani. Shot clock winding down to 10. Higher percentage shot, they draw the foul. And look at this. This fast break blast was brought to you by Gatorade and nothing beats Gatorade. And after this, I would like to drink some Gatorade. Galicia, good on her first free throw. Claire Castro will return. And Stephanie Ventura will sit down. 20 minutes up for Stephanie. Three points. One field goal, one free throw. Plus a lot of intangibles. Two for two for Joy. And Coach Mixon Ramos would like to talk things over with his Lady Generals. They are trailing. And we'll be back for more of the PK title WNBL 2021 after this commercial break. Stay with us, please. Hey, good news for all the women ballers out there. You know, the WNBL has set up a WNBL Developmental League. And uh, this is a good uh, news, though, because it will give a chance for the young and expiring set of lady ballers to hone their skills and, uh, you know, one day earn a spot as a professional here in the WNBL. Of course, that is a brainchild of our uh, WNBL Brain Trust, our Executive Vice President, Ms. Rose Montreal, Commissioner Edward Aquino, and our Chairman. Mr. Celso Soy Mercado talking about Janet season. Janet is really in season. She has 13 points and 7 rebounds, 2 steals. A good shot selection, 6 out of 15. She has been uh, carrying the fight for the Lady Generals. But, you know, basketball is a 5-person sport. And she needs help from the 4 other teammates on the floor if they are to overturn this uh, deficit that is currently at 17. As we near the last two minutes. Any moment now, our Barker will say last two minutes. <laughs> Foul is on Alcoy, and that will send uh, Season to the line. Uh, too strong for Janet. You can see the intensity written on the face of Season, hoping that it will inspire her teammates to uh, fight back, you know, rally back, and uh, you know, turn, the, turn this game in their favor. Meanwhile, it will be the turn of the Lady Aces to uh, discuss things. And uh, we'll be back for more of the PK and Tano WNBL after this commercial break. Stay with us, please.
On your screens, the huddle of the Palanaque Lady Aces led by Coach Jay and Cruz. And uh, when you talk about leadership on the floor, you talk about Aliana Lim. Look at this, uh, 24 points, 13 rebounds, a double-double for Aliana. And she's just all over the floor. You know, her energy is rubbing on to her teammates. You know, these, again, these are stuff that you do not see on the uh, statistics. That's the sign for the last two minutes. And it's winning time. Patient ball movement by Palanaque. Doriani to the corner to Castro. Short, but they keep it alive. Fresh 14 seconds to burn for the Lady Aces. And uh, the noose is slowly getting more tight around the collective necks of the Lady Generals. All right, we have a, third, we have a shot clock violation forced by the uh, Taguig Lady Generals. But yes, it's good. That's a good defense. But on the other hand, it took off a lot of time from the game clock. So it means it lessens their chances of uh, scoring you know, and uh, making a rally. Kapilit. Positos. Jumper, no. Nope. And it's cleared by Lim. Of course, Lim with the double double. But we are not yet through. We have uh, less than a minute to go. Castro passes too high. And uh, Claire says sorry to Coach uh, Cruz. Kapilit, with only two points to her name. That has been a major factor to the problems of Coach Mixon Ramos and the Lady Generals today. Chan, to the post. They try to use, oh, it's blocked! Last 25 seconds. I guess uh, Palanaque will just uh, dribble the time away. We are just waiting for the final score. Alcoy, kick out. Doriani, she can hit this. Too strong. All right, Tagig will play for the last save. Down to five seconds. Kapilit. Kapilit, running shot. Oh, let's see. Will it count? Referees will review. All right, we will not yet announce our final score. They will review that last uh, attempt by Kapilit. Referees are conferring. All right, we'll see. But then again, no, oh, Kapilit with two points. All right, now it's four points as the referee says they will count it. So our, our final score is 63 to 49 and we'll be back to wrap up this game and our best player after this commercial break. Stay with us, please.
final score, a 14-point win for the uh, still undefeated Palanyaki Lady Aces. And of course, let's look at our highlights. Aliana Lim, double double, 24 points, 13 rebounds. She was all over the place. Offense, defense, pass breaks, running, half court set, name it. She name it. She did it today. And uh, because of that, with no doubt, Aliana Lim is our WNBL double B and surge fitness best player of the game. All right, Aliana, congratulations for this uh, game. No. Palanyak Lady Aces still undefeated 6 and 0 oh, and uh, because of this win uh, implication dito you now have the twice to beat advantage in the uh, playoffs so uh, what is your mindset now no entering your last two games in the elimination round um thank you sir uh, well just have to get better every day every training every practice so we have to be prepared Yun, sa training tsaka sa mga natitirang games namin. Ito, Aliana, I'll put you on the spot, ha? Meron pa bang uh, hindi pa naipapakita ang Lady Aces sa WNBL? Well, um, I think we're gonna work on more sa um, defensive side namin kasi uh, medyo marami pa kaming lapses and yun nga, sabi ko, um, We'll get better um, every training. Paghandaan namin at pag titrainingan namin mang maigi in preparation of ano um, coming um, semis. So ako si Aliana Lim WNBL ang tunay na liga ng atletang Pilipina. Thank you. Again, congratulations to our WNBL Double B and Surge Fitness Best Player of the Game, Aliana Lim of the Palanyaki Lady Aces. Of course, as our best player, Aliana will receive gift certificates from Double B Burger and Surge Fitness. Let's take a look at the highlights from the, uh, the win of Palanyaki. They are perfect. 6 and 0. Of course, Aliana Lim, our best player, asserting herself underneath. Meanwhile, Jamie Alcoy, she hit back to back three point shots in that first quarter. Janina Solis also doing her share with uh, Claire Castro sitting down. And again, Lady Aces threatening to blow the game uh, wide apart 21 to 8 after the, fr after the uh, first. Come to second, a rally uh, staged by the Lady Gens. You know, Sophie Felisarta viewing the rally together with Janet Season, but Claire Castro was there to assert her height and head underneath. Like what I said, Season with two points to uh, carry the fight for the gig. Meanwhile, Aliana Lim, like what I said, she has been all over the court. But, I mean, Palanyaki hanging on to a two-point lead at halftime. What will happen in the third quarter? Oh, AJ Gloriani again with a glorious cut to the basket. Felisarta continuing from where she left off in the second quarter. Hey, boom, boom, three-point shot by the uh, Lady Aces. They recover a bit. They uh, extend their lead to nine. 46 to 37, but Aliana Lim with the finishing touches on this uh, game. They they dump it to Claire Castro underneath, and of course, Claire just uh, raising her hands. Stephanie Ventura also with two points in quality minutes off the bench, and that's her final score 62 to 49. Again, a 14 point win for the still undefeated league leading Palanyake Lady Aces. All right, after this, after this, it's going to be the turn of their uh, male counterparts. The Palanyaki Aces, they take the court against the dangerous Muntinlupa Water Warriors in the Chooks to Go NBL Chairman's Cup right after this. And uh, we'll bring that game to you in its entirety after this commercial break. Stay with us for more basketball only from the WNBL and the NBL.